Okay, today I'm going to show you how to program a Motorola Miniature 5 using the Miniature 5 Pager software and the Miniature 5 Programming Cradle along uh, with uh, my My Miniature 5 VHF Pager. First thing you should always do is make sure that your pager is in programming mode. To place it in programming mode, make sure it's in the C position. Hold in the reset button and turn the pager on. Once you hear that beep, it's ready to be inserted in the cradle. Do so very carefully and gently and straight. When it clicks, it's in the cradle. Okay, now we want to click on the Minuter 5 logo or software. Click on the little Find it here, the red arrow that goes into the computer. And it didn't like that. We'll switch the COM ports. So take me just a second. Sometimes it's flaky. Um, you might have to play around with to see what COM ports are available when you insert the USB um, plug into the pager, or into your computer, excuse me. As you can see right now, it's uh, reading the pager and once that has done this will pop up. The tabs that you'll be dealing with are uh, channel. Everything here in the general tab cannot, and I repeat cannot, be changed and I wouldn't go messing with that. First channel is channel F1. Uh, there's your frequency. Um, local call tones here for our county EMS and fire. Um, let's see. We will go ahead and eliminate this tone briefly so I can show you how to uh, get your or, um, to get uh, a tone or to type in your tones. Once this is popped up, all these fields will be blank if you're programming a new pager or want to change or add tones. So what we do is we type in the tone that we want to add, which was. Uh, and it might change the tone just a little bit. Nope, it didn't do that. And if you just type in a single number such as 802, it'll it'll see it'll change to 802.1. Now, um, the alerts are very different. They're standard, which is beep 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 beep, continuous, which is long tone. Uh, the music the uh, music tones are available on my website uh, for download. Uh, for your pagers at no cost. Uh, this tab here, model options, is your stored voice is dynamic, which means it's unlimited voice memo. The uh, gentleman that says monitor frequency one and selective call frequency one is on, but you can also turn them off because these sometimes can be very annoying. If your pager battery goes dead, it'll cycle and turn on, and you'll keep hearing that. Um, priority alert, uh, that's just for scanning. Uh, don't don't change alert duration to fix because it's quite loud. I tried it once. Okay, now for privacy, leave that off. And for reset function, leave it to delayed N. Otherwise, your pager will not will not uh, get all the information. And I don't think you want to miss anything in stored voice in case you're writing a report and you miss the miss the uh, um, call. Okay, now. Here is the function switches section. Uh, switch A is what it's. This is my pager again. Set to switch A. It'll go off for the first tone. Uh, B is vibrate. It's pretty standard here. Um, we'll zoom in a little bit. See, as you can see, it's pretty standard. Okay, if you ha have any questions on how to uh, program a pager or would like anything programmed by me. Uh, we do minute, we do Motorola Minter 3, 4, and 5 pagers for a very low price. Just go to the website, www.minotaurpagerprogramming.com. We thank you and uh, enjoy the video. And it will, once you're finished with everything you want to write to the pager, just say yes. This will cycle to uh, load once that turns to a check mark, we're good to go. 
Okay, and that is how you program a Motorola Miniter 5. I can do a 3 and 4 request when I have one here in the shop because I do not own one. But they're basically the same. Thank you for watching.